Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about the chest wall deformities. Particularly, we will focus on the deformities caused in the thoracic spine and the rib cage. From the thoracic spine deformities, we will focus on scoliosis and skyphosis. And from the rib cage deformities, we will focus on barrel chest, pectus excavatum, and pectus carinatum, as well as flannel chest. So let's start with the rib cage deformities. So first thing here is the barrel chest. As the name suggests, the chest will have the appearance like barrel, as shown in the image. If you recall from the video too, I have told you that the transverse section of thorax in adult is just like the kidney shaped, whereas in infant below the age of two or three will have circular or round shaped transverse section of thorax. So, in patient of barrel chest, this anterior posterior diameter increases and becomes equal to the transfer rise meter, causing barrel chest. The cause of barrel chest are unknown, but it is linked with the chronic hyperinflammation, which is caused due to severe asthma, chronic obstructive airways diseases, cystic fibrosis, and emphysema. Now let's move on the second deformity that is pectus excavatum also called as funnel chest. This is the abnormal formation of rib cage that gives the chest cave in or shrunken appearance as shown in the image. It is due to too much growth of the connective tissue that joins the rib to the breastbone sternum and this caused the sternum to grow inward as a result there is a depression in the chest over the sternum. Exact cause of pectus scavatum or the funnel chest is unknown, but it is linked with several conditions like Marfan syndrome, which is a connective tissue disorder, Noonan syndrome, it is a disorder that causes abnormal development of parts of body, rickets, that is softening and weakening of bone, and scoliosis. If you want to know more about this syndrome, do comment. Moving to next deformity that is pectus carinatum. It is also called as pigeon chested because this condition caused the sternum to protrude and a narrow depression is created along the side of the chest. And this gives the chest a bow out appearance similar to pigeon. So it is called as pigeon chested. People with pectus carinatum generally developed a normal heart and lung. However, the deformity may prevent these structures from functioning as well as they could. Pectus carinatum may prevent completely emptying of air from the lungs in children and these people may have less stamina. The causes of pigeon chest is trisomy of 18 gene. Trisomy of 21, Marfan syndrome, osteogenesis imperfecto, as well as congenital pectus carinatum. The next deformity is flail chest. Flail chest is a life-threatening medical condition in which two or more adjacent ribs breaks into segment and get detaches from the rib cage, causing immense chest pain and shortening of breath. The primary treatment include protecting the lungs and ensuring the patient is breathing sufficiently. The causes of fell chest is trauma like vehicle collision and falling on chest. Moving on to the other half of the video where we are going to talk about thoracic vertebral deformities. The first in the list is scoliosis. There are different types of scoliosis depending on the region which is curved on the vertebral column. Particularly in this video, we are going to talk about the thoracic scoliosis as it is related to the thorax region. Scoliosis is an abnormal curving of the spine, which resembles letter S or C. It can occur in childhood or in old age called as degenerative scoliosis. The causes of it is unknown but can be associated to genetics, neuromuscular disorder or having poor posture. It results in pain and restricted movement due to the imbalance in muscle and in certain joint. 
The treatment can be non-surgical as well as surgical. Diagnosis is based on the examination of alignment of spine or imagining tests such as X-ray, MRIs or CT scan. The next up in this list is kyphosis. It is the abnormal forward curve in the spine. It can be seen as visible hump typically in the upper back area. The exact cause of this disease is not known but it can be related to poor posture, neuromuscular condition like osteogenesis imperfecta, muscular dystrophy or spina bifida or it can be the result of trauma that has lead to spine fracture. So this was all about the deformities of thoracic cage. Do follow me on Instagram at the rate medical minion. Like, subscribe and share. Thank you for watching.